what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sig Pulls, and today on the channel we have the Boombox Platinum Baseball for the month of April. Now, if you missed it, we did open the Elite Boombox Baseball for this month already. I will link that up in the eye, um, so definitely go check that out when you're done. See how it compares. Those Elite Boomboxes go for $260, and then after taxes and shipping, um, it's about $280. These Platinum Boomboxes, however, I, they just actually raised the prices on this month for April with packs getting expensive. They couldn't maintain prices. This used to be $100. Now I believe it is $150. And if I'm wrong, I will I will uh, definitely edit that in there. But off the top of my head, I think it was $150. Um, I think it is a great pack lineup, though. I always like this pack lineup. I really enjoy opening these boom boxes. And we'll go ahead and see how it compares to the Elite version. Now, in the Elite version... The main difference is we got a pack of the Inception, which those boxes, which is also the one pack, goes for about, it was going for about $170. I'm not sure what the current market price is on that nowadays, but let's go ahead and see what the difference is between the packs. And I got them all out here. All right. And we got the one touch as always, and that's everything out of the box. All right. So... This one, we got 2020 Topps Chrome Hobby Pack. And these are all Hobby Packs, by the way. If you're not unfamiliar with the Boombox. 2020 Bowman Chrome. 2020 Bowman's Best. So this was also in the um, Elite version. 2020 Bowman. 2018 Bowman. 2020 Heritage High Number. So some Lou Bob in there. And then a jumbo of 2021 Series 1. So the two main differences I see out of the two versions are is in the Elite version, there was a Topps Inception pack, like I said already, but there was also a Bowman Draft 2020 Jumbo pack, which is also a very expensive pack. So those two packs were very nice. This one, however, we do get a 2021 Jumbo, and the Jumbo hobby boxes of this were loaded this year. And then we also do get a 2020 Topps Chrome. I think 2020 Bowman's Best was definitely in there. I think Bowman Chrome was one of the packs as well. And then we get these in the Elite version as well. So nice pack land up here too. Definitely excited to get ripped into this one. And some good pack odds on the Bowman Chrome there. But we're going to start off with Heritage High Number. If I don't drop the pack, there we go. Hopefully, maybe it's a hot box. We'll see. Get the purple refractor. But there we go. Hey, said we'll go Lou Bob Hunton. He is on the back with a awful corner. Holy cow. Look at that corner. But at least it's a Lou Bob. Not in a great condition. But that's the first hit of the day. We also got Kyle Gibson, Jarrell Cotton, Dellen Batantis, CJ Crone, Shane Bieber, Freddie Galvis, Lamonte Wade Jr., and Quang Young Kim. And just checking for any crazy variations. Nope. So just a Luis Robert with the bum corner. Going to get into some 2018 Bowman right now. See if we get a nice hit today. You know, these boxes are getting quite expensive and... You know, it's harder and harder to make your money back with just how expensive they're getting. Miguel Cabrera, Corey Nabel, Gary Sanchez, Buster Posey, Nick Senzel Chrome, Francisco Mejia, Rookie of the Year Favorites rookie card, Kopech, Scott Kingery Chrome, De La Cruz, and Christian Stewart. So nothing too amazing out of that pack there. That's going to bring us into the 2020 Bowman. You know, when I opened the Elite version too, didn't hit anything crazy out of it. So, you know, obviously didn't leave that one feeling too good. But that's what happens when you open these sub boxes. You don't always make it back. We got Bogarts, Acuna, who's on fire. Uh, Kalenich, Aaron Knapp, and Julio Rodriguez. Talent pipeline for the Mariners. Will Wilson, Jacob Amaya first. Logan Davidson, nice Luis Robert, Chrome prospect. Hey, we'll put that in the hits. It's a Luis Robert day so far. Nolan Jones, Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts. So maybe we'll see a, a Luis Robert Topps Chrome Auto. That is some very wishful thinking, which probably, well, actually probably more than likely won't happen out of any of these packs. But we'll see. 2020 Bowman Chrome. One in six chance of getting the hit. Also, one in six chance of there being the purple shimmer. Actually, no, one in 12 chance. But anyway, let's see if we got an auto. Alex Young. You say Kikuchi, and we did get an auto. Didn't see who it was, but there you go. One in six chance we hit Sam Huff with the extremely terrible centering. Holy cow. 
That is amazingly bad. We're going to leave that out just because of how bad it is. Sam Huff, good prospect, too. Uh, next card, just, just the same way right there. Terrible cut on that sheet. Hopefully the auto isn't like that. Yusei Kikuchi, and it's a Philly, not a first, of Eric Miller. Unfamiliar with Eric Miller. It's a refractor auto out of 499 2019 fourth round pick. So, you know, not the biggest auto there, but it's an auto. I'll take it. I'm happy. Get the auto streak going. Back started up. And we got 2020 Bowman's Best. I say this every time I get these in the sub box. Bowman's Best was a very, very fun rip this year. And good pack odds of hitting an auto in this one, too. And we got one of those die cuts. And it looks like it's one of the negative ones. Uh, so we got Yoshi Suzugo. Got a nice Jordan rookie card. We got a redemption. Oh, man. I don't know who the redemptions are in this. Never mind. We didn't get a redemption. I saw that totally wrong. But I just went right for it. Max Meyer. I think, first off, Max Meyer, great prospect. Number three overall pick, I think. Man, that's a nice hit. Is this a refractor? I don't know. It's just plain regular Bowman's best. I think it's, yeah, best of 2020 autograph. Nice hit. Two autos. That's a good auto. I, I saw this blue peeking out, and it made me think it was Redemption. I don't know why I thought it was Redemption. So that's really nice. And then I moved it to go look at the black card, and I saw, all right, never mind, not a Redemption. And I thought it was just a regular base card. Joey Votto, the Jordan, and Jared Kalenic. That was a nice pack. Really enjoyed that pack there. Jared Kalenic, franchise 2020 die cut. Negative. And the Max Meyer auto. Really good pack. And we still got two packs left. 2020 Chrome. Hard to hit out of these hobby packs. You know, only four cards per pack. And uh, the pack odds of hitting the auto isn't great. But you never know. Hopefully we hit a nice rookie at least. We got John Segura. Logan Webb. Austin Meadows Refractor. And Andres Nino. So unfortunately this time, nothing too crazy. That's the Meadows Refractor. But always fun to rip a hobby pack of Tops Chrome. Because you never know what's going to pop out. And let's see. We got a jumbo pack. Let's see if we get a third auto. That would be really nice. Should be some nice rookies in here as well. Mitch Moreland. Mike Trout. Bieber. Flipping around already. To Matt Boyd. Luke Voigt. Josh Reddick. Bruzdar. Jimenez rookie. Daniel Murphy. We got Brad Hand, Mazzara, Austin Hayes, Robbie Ray, Do It For The Fans, Nico, Spence, oh no, Carter Keeboom, Evan Longoria, Miles Nicholas, JD Martinez, we got a gold, Ahmed, Hector Neris, Harrison Bader, and the gold is Eric Sogard. And what is behind this? Just the insert, it looks like. So not the greatest gold foil. 35th of Tony Gwynn. Oh, that's cool. Jeter. Jeets. 70th. That's a cool card. Alfaro. Kinsler. Garrett Cole. Mitch Keller. Profar. Will Smith. All right. I was hoping it would flip back quick. It didn't. Mercado. Jake Arrieta. AJ Pollock. Dane Dunning. Mitch White. Future stars Grisham, Eduardo Rodriguez, Dansby, uh, Seeger, Semyon, Tavares, Mike Miner, Walker Bueller, Mookie Betts, and Paul DeYoung. So actually, not the best. Not the best jumbo pack there uh, What from what we could have gotten. No like huge rookie, no auto patch, nothing numbered. Yeah, so thankfully, Bowman's best. Definitely provided the heat. I would say that was the best pack of the day. Um, we got a great auto. Bowman Chrome was good as well. But that's going to bring me to my SIG pull of the day. And my SIG pull of the day is going to be a SIG. And it is sick. It is the Max Meyer auto. I think I have one of these already. And I believe it's at PSA right now. Max Meyer, number three overall prospect. Or overall pick um great prospect pitcher for the miami marlins and it is on card nice auto um for today's standards 
on that card. Um, also, my second favorite card was probably the Kalenic uh, die cut, the negative, black, whatever you want to call it. Eric Miller auto as well. Put this Sam Huff out here just because it was hilariously cut, and he's not a bad prospect. Lou Bob prospect cards never hurt, and rookie cards never hurt, even though that one was a little bit banged up. Also hit a nice Jordan rookie card out of Bowman's best. But those are the hits of today. Yeah, probably to get close. I had a ton of fun. I always love ripping baseball. R baseball is my favorite sport, as you guys know. I also do rip baseball and basketball. I mean, sorry, basketball and football on the channel, along with my Pokemon Saturday. So if you like this kind of content, definitely please give me a like and subscribe. And how I would compare this to the Elite is that Elite Pack, you know, Elite Boombox, you're really relying on, you know, that big pack of Tops Inception to come through. I whiffed, and then I also whiffed in Bowman Draft, so that box doesn't feel too good. So if you like opening baseball cards, and especially high-end baseball cards, but you don't want to go over the top, I would say that Platinum is definitely probably the better pick of the two, unless you really want to gamble on getting a monster out of Inception. Also, I don't know what's coming next month, but I'm excited to look forward to that pack lineup. If it is something intriguing to myself, I will have them again on the channel next month. Most likely we'll have the Platinum, not sure about the Elite. But let me know what you guys think of these boom boxes down in the comments below. I always love hearing your thoughts and having conversations with you guys down there. I really appreciate the love and the support. We are getting closer by the day to 700, and I really want to get there sooner rather than later so we can run yet again another giveaway. With that being said, I'm Sig Pulls. Later. Later.